Hi ladies, I'm Anna Olson and I'm your host for The Real Women of Philadelphia. Now this is such an exciting week. It's the first week of competition. And just to remind you what's going on, over the next eight weeks, I want you to submit your cooking videos with original recipes featuring Philly cream cheese. Now each week has a theme and this week, let's start at the beginning, appetizers. I'm gonna show you one of my favorite recipes. This is a baked crab appetizer, and I want this to inspire you. Remember, there's $20,000 on the line. Now, this appetizer recipe is great because it feeds a crowd, so I get 12 portions out of it. And it starts with half a brick of cream cheese, and I make sure it's softened to room temperature. And before I start mixing the cream cheese, I'll add about a quarter cup of mayonnaise. I'll use the beaters first just to blend the cream cheese and the mayonnaise. And there we go. I can now add the crab. Now this happens to be fresh crab meat. I do find I like the quality of tinned crab meat. Just make sure you drain it very, very well before you add it so you have that nice sort of firm texture. I love how the cream cheese holds everything together. So I stir it to coat it completely. Now this is lovely as is, but I like to add a splash of color to this base. So I'm gonna add a little chopped green onion. I'm a big fan of using fresh herbs, and I do find that I can take the same recipe and switch it up through spring, summer, and fall just by the choice of herbs that I can add into it. Green onions sort of cross all the seasons. About two green onions went into the crab. I've saved another green onion chopped up so that I can sprinkle it as a garnish. And it's easy to portion out using a muffin tin. Give the tin a little spray. I simply use wonton wrappers, which are easy to find in, usually in the produce section of your grocery store. And a little ruffle is just fine, and I like to have the points of the wonton wrapper pop up a little bit. And an important tip when you're making your own cooking video, make sure to keep looking at the camera and smiling. Tell me a story, I wanna hear about this recipe. I'm just spooning the filling in as evenly as possible, just till it comes up to the top of the wonton wrapper. Now, if you're feeding a crowd that likes a little spice, a little cayenne pepper is nice in there. Beautiful tartlets, essentially, ready to go in the oven. 350 degrees and 18 to 20 minutes. I just use basically the wontons as my guide. When they're nice golden brown around the edges, then they're ready to come out of the oven. Mmm, just look at that gorgeous golden brown color. The nice thing about working with wonton wrappers is they never stick to the pan so they pop out easily. Perfect portion size. Little of the saved green onions for right on top for a little bit of color. Something dainty and delicate, a perfect starter to a special meal. I hope I've inspired you with this recipe. Remember, there's $20,000 on the line. I can't wait to see what you come up with. Well, that's good.